This is our England tour, 2009, uh, Mock Ness, Glasgow and Lanark, and then return to London. Pause the map and get some idea of our journey. Mock Ness is about 37 kilometres long, and it's at its widest, three kilometres. When we were there, the weather varied from a beautiful clear day to a overcast dull day and in some rain as well but uh, we stopped at this roadside stop and we went down to the beach if you could call it a beach and um, took some video of the lock itself Then we travelled north further along the shore of Loch Ness to a, the Uhart Castle, if that's the way you pronounce it. And um, we stopped and had a quick walk through it. And you have to cross a drawbridge of sorts. And as you walk closer you realise how worn and torn it is with the winds and the cold and the rain and the snow in Scotland. Up on the deck we viewed uh, Loch Ness again a number of times. You can see the wind was up and the, the wind was blowing the, the waves south. There was a clearly designated path for tourists and uh, a lot of photo shots or photo viewing platforms. And this is one of my favourite views looking south along Loch Ness and having the castle in the foreground. Here's a zoom shot of other people wandering around the main structure that was left. There was another castle on Loch Ness, but we missed it completely. I must have been on the other side of the rock. Sometimes I'm just not in the mood for my wife's selfies, uh, but here's one on the way. Then we travelled to the nearest town, Drummond Notch, or Drummond Ditch, and this is where we found the Floral Castle, Uhart Castle. There was also a fiberglass replica of the Loch Ness Monster. There was another more realistic one in a little bit of a lake near a gift shop. Well, I can't remember exactly where. Then we travelled down to Glasgow City and we stopped for our fish and chips. And then we had a bit of a drive around at the different old buildings and university, it's pretty much a university city. Back in its heyday I think it was a shipbuilding and mining port, I'm not that sure of that, but there was a huge amount of buildings dedicated to university. And then this street was full of these tenement houses and I think that's probably a good way to describe them in a more upmarket area on top of a rise on the other western side of the river. So we continued to drive further around looking at the buildings that were dedicated to the Glasgow University and a few churches and then we went to the Glasgow Cemetery and overlooked the city and you can see the lovely autumn leaves as we walked along and uh, there was a huge amount of tourists walking through this uh, cemetery. Uh, you can see the tourists in the distance. But you have a look on the right there and you've got these tombs dug into the brick fascia similar to what you'd see in ancient 
Jerusalem. Uh, you can see the river down the bottom there. And it was full of green, green muck when we were there. And rather stagnant. Then we had a quick look at this uh, Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum, just had a quick look inside and um, in the quadrangle area. Then we drove south towards England. And on the way south I decided to drop into a place called Lamarck which is the hometown of my ancestors who immigrated from Australia in 1820s and we, the main purpose was to go and visit some of the cemeteries there and to try to find some history but unfortunately it was really late at night so there was no, no help to be found and the one gentleman that helped us said that I was actually in the wrong cemetery. Well, that's another story. So we drove into the township of Lanark, or the borough of Lanark, and we stopped and had a bit of a look at the new Lanark area. This basically was an area built by rich, rich industrials to house all his workers so that he could get um, obviously a better lifestyle for them and that included modern amenities, a school and good living conditions and even a, uh, a shop with competitive prices so that these workers didn't live in squalor and slum as they did in other, other places in um, that period of time in, in northern England. Then we drove straight through the township of Lanark and there was nothing much to see at all actually. So I continued on and it was getting late and I wanted to get moving and head for England. But there was um, one thing I wanted to do before I left Lanark and that was to go to the, the final cemetery. And again, the same problem, we couldn't find any reference to the Angus clan or any graves marked as Angus. And uh, there was no, no uh, listing or help on the board, just the basic time and hours of operating. And if you have a look at this board, you'll see that it closed 8pm and we were questioned as to why we were still wandering around there but the gentleman was happy with our explanation. So we walked around just to soak in the atmosphere of the history of um, Lanark, knowing that my ancestors were from this district, from Glasgow area, from the mining and shipbuilding areas. And um, one of the relatives way back was a carpenter or a coach uh, maker. And this little monument describes a number of people executed for their belief in a period of um, reformation of sorts. And that surprised me. There's a list of names. Few were executed and few were imprisoned and a lot of them had their properties and stuff confiscated by the, the king at the time. The whole thing behind the government was people signed an agreement to oppose the doctrine of the king in, in relation to the church 
at that time. Most prominent in this cemetery was this old church building and it actually collapsed in 1954 and was reconstructed but obviously didn't last too many years after that but it was quite picturesque and we enjoyed wandering through. I was mindful of the time because the sun sets in October in Scotland as late as 8.30 p.m. so we needed to get moving and travel back down south towards England where we stayed at a quaint little bed and breakfast in a town called Berwick right on the Scottish border and this is the A1 freeway heading south The video was produced by myself and it's the end of another exciting video of our England tour October 2009 of Loch Ness, Glasgow, Mullinark and further south.